Hello, Math 8 students. This is Mrs. Yowd. Today I'm going to cover Chapter 5, Lesson 4, which is about solving special systems of linear equations. Please have out your spiral notebooks and write this at, a top, at the top of a nice clean page. You will also need your RPJs open to page 116 today. So there are two types of special systems of linear equations. The first type is when you're going to have a no solution answer. Now a no solution answer is when the lines are going to be parallel and that means that they will never intersect each other. If we looked at a graph, the two parallel lines would have to never intersect, right? So they're heading in they're heading the same direction. And remember the same direction and the same steepness. So remember direction and steepness are found by looking at the slope of the line. So the slopes will always be equal, but you'll notice that when you have, so the slopes are equal, but notice that the y-intercepts will not be the same because they are not going to be right on top of each other. So uh, the, the y-intercepts will not be equal. So it's easy to see parallel lines on a graph, but how do you see parallel lines on an equation? So here I'm given two equations, y is equal to 2x plus 4 and 3y minus 6x is equal to 9. Now when I first look at it, this has a 2 in front of the x and this one has a negative 6 in front of the x, so my first thought is that these are not parallel. However, notice that the second equation is not written in slope-intercept form. So what we need to do is to change it into slope-intercept form by solving for the y. So I need to move my 6x to the other side, and we're going to do that by adding it to both sides. And when we do that, we are left with 3y here. And then over here, notice that these two cannot be combined because we, this one has an x and this one doesn't. So we need to keep them separate. So it's going to be 6x plus 9. Now we're going to divide out our 3 all the way through. And we are left with y is equal to, now we need to simplify this. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So now let's take a look at our two equations. We have y is equal to 2x plus 4 and y is equal to 2x plus 3. So you'll notice that they both have the same slope, but their y-intercepts are different. That means that the lines are parallel, and so there is no solution. The second type of special systems is infinite solutions. And so this happens when you have the exact same line. On a graph, what this will look like is you'll have a line, and then you'll have another line that is exactly the same. So you'll notice that both of these lines are heading in the same direction, and they have the same steepness. So that means that they have the exact same slope. Notice also that the lines are crossing in the same spot on the y-axis. So that means that the y-intercept is also exactly the same. So it's easy to see how it is, how it works on a graph, how you can see infinite solutions on a graph. But how do you see if the lines are the same if you only look at the equations? So here I have two equations, and once again, they certainly don't look the same to me because we have a y equals 2x plus 4, and then we have a 3y minus 6x is equal to 12. So they certainly do not look the same this time. However, notice once again that this is written in slope-intercept form, and this one's not. So in order to make sure that they are or are not the same, we do have to solve for y once again. So just like before, I'm going to add 6x to move it to the other side. And I'm going to be left with 3y is equal to, once again, these do not connect or do not combine. They're not like terms. So we're going to keep them separate, 6x plus 12. 
And once again, I'm going to divide by 3 all the way through. And I'm going to be left with y is equal to, now let's simplify 6 divided by 3 is 2. And we're going to simplify 12 divided by 3, which is 4. So you'll notice that we have a y equals uh, 2x plus 4 here. And we also have a y is equal to 2x plus 4 here. So their slopes are the same and their y-intercepts are also the same. That means that they are the exact same line and they have infinite solutions. Please have your journals open to page 116. Let's start with number two. So I notice that I already have y solved for, for the second equation, but not for the first. So that means I need to change this first equation into slope-intercept form by solving for y. So I'm going to solve for y, so my first step is to move the 3x to the other side. And we do that, remember, by subtracting it off. And you'll notice that it does not combine with the negative 10. So we're going to keep it separate, and I'm going to write it as 4y is equal to, and so these are going to stay separate, we're going to write the x part first because remember I, my goal is to write it as mx plus b, so my x part needs to be written first. Now my next part is to divide out the 4, and remember we need to uh, do that all the way through, and so we're left with y is equal to, so I'm going to simplify negative 3 over 4 becomes, just stays as negative 3 over 4. I'm going to pull my x off of the fraction. And now I need to simplify 10 over 4. So 10 over 4 can divide by 2 on the top and the bottom. And that becomes minus 5 over 2. So if I look at my two equations, we have negative 3 fourths and negative 3 fourths. That means that my slopes are equal. We have, on our y-intercepts, we have negative 5 halves, and we also have negative 5 halves. That means that my y-intercepts are also equal. So that means that the lines are the exact same lines, and we have infinite solutions. Take a look at number 1. Number 1 is already written in slope-intercept form for both of these, so that means that I do not need to change my equations. I would like for you to take a look at these two lines. So see if you could figure out if the slopes are equal or not, and if the y-intercepts are equal or not, and decide if they are no solution because they're the, they are parallel lines, or if they have infinite solutions because they are the same line. So pause the video and see if you can find the answer. Hopefully you wrote that the slopes were equal, the y-intercepts were not equal, that means that the lines were parallel and there would be no solution. Let's take a look at number four. Notice that this is not written in slope-intercept form, and this is also not written in slope-intercept form. On the top one, what we need to do is solve for y, and that means that we need to get rid of our three, which is multiplied by y. Whenever something is multiplied, you need to divide it out. So that means that my top equation is going to become y is equal to, now we need to simplify negative three, 6 divided by 3 is negative 2, and don't forget your x, and then 4 thirds, I'm just going to leave it as 4 thirds. The second equation, we also need to get y by itself. I notice that I, can, I need to move all of 2x to the other side. So that means that I'm going to subtract off 2x this time, and I'm left with y is equal to, remember these two terms cannot combine because they are not the same. So I'm going to keep it as negative 2x plus 9. So I notice that my slopes are the same, my y-intercepts are different, and that means that they are parallel, and so there will be no solution. Let's take a look at number three. We need to get our y by itself on the top one and also on the second one. So to get my y by itself on the top equation, I'm going to first move my x over. And that leaves me with negative y. Don't forget there's still a negative here. 
If you miss that, then you'll make a mistake. So negative y is equal to negative x plus 8. I still need to get rid of that negative. So remember, it's like a negative 1. So we're going to divide out a negative 1. And that leaves me with y is equal to positive x minus 8. The second equation, we also need to solve for y. So I'm going to do that by dividing out my 2. I'm going to have you finish the rest of this problem on your own. So simplify the second equation and then decide if the slopes are the same or different, if the y-intercepts are the same or different, and if it's parallel, it will have no solution, or if the lines are exactly the same, it'll have infinite solutions. So pause the video and finish number three on your own. Okay, this is what I got as an answer. Please check your answers and see how you did. If you made any mistakes, see if you can find them. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.